Hi, it's Libby from Salonpreneur Global here. I hope your business is going well. I want to talk to you today about finding that new apprentice. Now, most of us today have a website, or if you haven't got a website, you're mad because you know that is your real business card today. Do you know that 80% of our clientele actually research online when they're going to go to a salon before they even walk out the door and find that new salon? Or if they're already coming to you, they're probably getting online and having a look at what you are doing with a website now. And it doesn't have to cost a lot of money and it doesn't have to be too detailed. It just needs to be simple and easy to look at. Now, finding that new apprentice through your website, that's what I wanna to talk to you about right now. Have a careers page. You must have a careers page on your website. And on that, you just put what you want from a apprentice, what your expectations could be, and what they can expect from you. So naturally, your expectations would be that we want someone that wants to be a hairdresser because they love people, they love fashion, they love keeping up to date, uh, they don't mind standing on their feet for long hours, they don't mind going to training after hours when they've worked all day. If that's what your salon's like, you need to state all those things on your website. Then you get the right person apply for the job because it's already in writing. They've been able to have a look at it, been able to talk to their mum or their dad if they're young, they've been able to discuss it with their friends, but then get you know, what you can expect from us. That we will provide you with great training that is current, that will give you the best career advantage that you can take your hairdressing anywhere around the world because that's what you can do. Once you've got your hairdressing license, you know you can go on cruise ships, you know, give them the, the career um, objectives that they might be able to get if they consider being a hairdresser in your salon. And then when you advertise in the paper, or if you put an ad even on, like I've talked about before, on your salon door, you can put your website address and say, just go to our careers page. So you don't have to be a big company to do this. You can be a little operator with one or two staff members, and a website can cost as little as $400. And I've got the perfect person for you if you choose to start a new website, or if you haven't even got one, or maybe you've got one that you don't like, get on Salonpreneur Global, ask me the question, I will give you the lead to the right place to get the right website for your business. Thanks.